what's going on guys how's everyone doing today i'm doing well thank you for asking the body beat down here michael you're amazing host of this sensational channel i'm playing it up a little bit well i kind of wanted to touch on a subject today uh, i kind of mentioned it uh yesterday or whatever in uh, one of my walks um about how working out can actually heal your body now as much as I would like to say, uh, it has not healed my back. Uh, of course, I worked out during the whole time my back, you know, was out earlier. And, you know, and I took time off and all that. And starting back, it's not like it's magically healed my back. However, I do think my back is stronger. Um, I do have the nauseating, disgusting feeling of broken bones and squished tendons and nerves and whatever else is going on in there. Uh, I still have that feeling, um, but I can say that uh, my shoulders are feeling a thousand times better, like night and day. Do I think that they are completely healed? No. Um, do I think that they are probably 90% better than how they were before I started working out again? Yes, and that is a huge, significant amount. <laughs> I'll say 90%. Is it 70%? I don't know. In this moment right now, we'll say 90%. Uh, you might know the story. If, if, if not, I'll go ahead and fill you in on some things. Now, I had two bad lifts on uh, bench presses many years ago, back in the early 2000s. I bench pressed at one of my friend's house. I messed up one shoulder. I bench pressed at another friend's house. Messed up the other shoulder. 300 pounds. I've done 300 pounds a million times. I just don't think that I warmed up enough. And plus, being on strange benches just kind of threw me off. And, and I had problems. And problems, you know, off and on throughout many years uh, at that point. Uh, from that point. Um, and uh, it's so bad. In fact, one time uh, I was actually scheduled to have surgery on my right one. And oddly enough, I went ahead to, and worked out again that weekend before I was going to have surgery. And I was bench pressing and I had like 300 or so on the bar, three something. I don't remember what it was. And I went down and my shoulder went pop. And I went back up. I put the bar on the uprights and I sat up on the bench and I said, oh my God, I can move my freaking shoulder. So uh, I canceled the surgery, of course, at that point. And uh, from that point on, this, this shoulder was its normal, okay-ish self. Uh, both shoulders, of course, never perfect again, but they weren't, they weren't so bad that I couldn't live with it. And then, uh, of course, I was working out, and I didn't stop working out until technically early 2011. And, uh, and this happened in the earlier 2000s. So I worked out, I worked out hard and heavy, not as hard and heavy as I do now, from 2007 to 2000, early 11. I know we're going on a lot here. We try to keep up. And during that time, I had some good lifts and got some PRs and did good and all that kind of stuff. But then I quit working out. Personal issues kind of came up and things happened. Life happened. And uh, so I stopped working out. And then come 2015, about January or February, March, April, the very first quarter of 2015, uh, I was introduced to disc golf, where you take the little disc and you throw it in the baskets and uh, instantly throw, because I've got to throw like I'm throwing around the world. So I throw and instantly I'm hurting my shoulder and I'm hurting my shoulder and I'm hurting my shoulder and I'm hurting. I mean, it's ripping. It's ripping apart, and it's ripping the fibers. And I'm stupid because I'm hard-headed and I'm crazy. So I would literally go to play, and I'm throwing like this. <clears throat> like this, trying to throw. That's how stupid I am. Uh, so this shoulder, uh, again, got to the point to where it was so sore that it was putting me on the ground. It was that sore. Uh, I've told the story again uh, before that... Uh, I was getting undressed or something. I was doing something. I just got back from a bike ride or I was just getting dressed, whatever the case. I don't remember what it was, but I did something and I just bumped my hand against the bed, the mattress, boop, just like that. And I just went, Ugh. 
<clears throat> fell over on the bed and just was in really bad pain. So that's the kind of pain that I've been in. It's like a mixture between just raw, disgusting heat ripping away at your muscles all the way down to into your bicep and into here and even kind of back here. And uh, in between that and feeling like someone's got a pry bar crammed down in your bone right there and prying. So I was going through a lot of pain. And uh, so once I got done trying disc golf, uh, I said, okay, I can't do that anymore. I got to do something else. So I went and I got a gym membership, which is the first time I've ever done that in my life. So I tried to work out. And it seemed like things were going okay. Like even the very first day that I went, I was doing like 20 pounds. I was taking it super easy. But as soon as I left the gym, I felt a lot better. I don't know if it was, I can't remember if it was my shoulder or what, but I instantly was feeling better. And, but then these, these injuries started happening more, uh, flaring up with the golfer's elbow and whatever is going on up here on this muscle area here. And uh, so those started flaring up, along with my shoulders, still not great. So I couldn't really do a lot of movements. I couldn't do a lot of anything. And uh, I wasn't enjoying my, my gym experience because I wasn't used to being held back like that. So after a year, I canceled my gym membership there and I said, okay, I gotta do something. So I got a bicycle and I started riding bikes and I cycled for five and a half years anywhere from four times a week to seven times a week and anywhere from 11 miles a day to 100 miles, whatever. Um, and I even got a, a trail bike and I, and I rode trails and I did, you know, on and off road cycling. So I had a good time that five and a half years. But then come last year, 2021, and I said, I've got to get some sort of strength training in my life again. I need to do something, even if it's lightweight. I'm not going to get a gym membership and waste my time and money with that, but I need to get something at home. So my initial thought was I'm just going to get an adjustable bench and a set of adjustable dumbbells. So as soon as I started to look for stuff, I swear to you, I woke up one day and this shoulder was not hurting like at all. I mean, I'm not saying it's healed. But when I say it wasn't hurting at all, I mean, like, you know, it, it wasn't noticeable. And I said, oh, my God, I am not hurting. What is going on? Because all this time, you know, all these years, all this time, like, you know, I can't move. I can't do anything from 2015 all the way to 2021. Like, I can't read, I can't open the door, uh, the refrigerator door with my left hand and reach in with my right hand because it was, oh my God, I couldn't, you know, I couldn't sleep right. I couldn't put my arms back like this. I, you know how you sit in a recliner and sometimes you sit like that? I couldn't do that. I had to leave this elbow up here. Like, it was the excruciating muscle and stuff ripping kind of pain. Uh, you just can't explain it. It's kind of like, it's like my back. You can't explain that kind of pain. So anyway, I woke up and my shoulder was better and I was like, what the heck? So I said, that's it. I'm getting some gym equipment and I'm gonna start working out again. So long story longer, here we are with a room full of goodies that I, that I love. Uh, I'm back doing what I love and I have a passion for. And uh, when I started, this, my shoulders were still bothering me. There was still definitely, you know, there was a lot of burn, that whole burn sensation. And it's still that way whenever I do squats, trying to hold the bar back here. A lightweight is not so bad, but once I get up, you know, over 225, then it's it's not only pushing down on a horrible neck, but it's also, it's also, you know, a lot more to hold and it's pressure on my shoulders. So once I get up going heavy like that, it's, you know, uh, the, the burning is, is still there. So like I said, they're not 100%, but definitely compared to what they were, I'll say 90%. So, you know, and, and I can look back at my videos and you could go back and look. And there's definitely a change uh, in the way that I'm able to move weights uh, with any pressing movement, especially. And especially the shoulder presses, they really get your shoulders, of course. So, 
at, you know, at this point, you know, I can do shoulder presses with minimal discomfort at all. I can do behind the neck presses. I can do front presses. I can do dumbbell presses. I'm pressing 100 pound dumbbells. That is stupid. Okay. At 50, almost 51 years old. And I'm finally pressing 100 pound dumbbells with shoulders like this, with a neck like this, with a back like that. With, I can't believe it. Not only that, not only that these, but I have arthritis. Like yesterday, or chest day especially, uh, this past week, uh, I was, they were really burning, really sore and burning, and they get that, like, really, really, really painful. So I had a, I have a tough time sometimes as far as this goes, because, you know, chest and uh, even doing, uh, like, arm day and stuff like that. So they kind of affect me sometimes, um, arthritis. But we're talking about shoulders. So can, can working out heal your body? Uh, I say absolutely it can. Um, I have to give 100% credit to myself for getting in here and getting stuff done. Every day, no matter how much pain I'm in, the amount of pain that I'm in sometimes, guys, does not come across on video. And I don't even complain about it in my everyday life. My wife don't know I'm hurting all the time. My wife don't know if I'm sick. I don't tell my wife these things. My wife, we've been together, we've been married 30 years. So she's heard it all and seen it all. I'm in so much pain some days that I just want to like jump off a roof. <laughs> a, a, a high roof, not just a low roof. That won't do much, but a high roof. I want to, you know... Uh, there's some serious pain going on, but as far as my shoulders go, man, I can't, I can't ask for any more. I can't ask for any better. Now, will I ever be able to throw a baseball a quarter mile? Will I ever be able to throw a rock a quarter mile again? Will I ever be able to do that kind of stuff again? Will I ever take a chance and play disc golf again? No, I sure will not. <laughs> but, uh, as far as my everyday life and my gym working out and my gym life and everything, man, my shoulders feel so much better. And if you're if you're in the same ball part that I am, if you're in the same uh, with the with the same kind of elements and that kind of stuff that I am, man, it's just about perseverance. It's about every day getting in there, and putting in the work, and it don't matter if you're like crying in pain, sometimes that's what it takes to break through uh, whatever it is that's wrong. Sometimes it's just what it takes. And I'm no doctor, I'm no physical therapist, I'm no trained nothing. I'm just some hard-headed good old boy guy that does his thing and I always have. And, uh, and I like pushing myself and I like... I like knowing that I'm in control of some part of my life, and that is, I think we're in control of our bodies and our minds to a certain degree, and we can do some pretty cool stuff. So uh, the working out hasn't healed my back. It never will. I don't know what's wrong with my back. It's just, it's bad. And uh, it always will be. It's 25 years that I've been dealing with it, and probably 20 years, almost 20 years. I have probably 20 years since I've initially damaged my shoulders. So, uh, anyway, uh, there's good news. There's always some light at the end of the tunnel, guys. Keep pushing through. Even if you've got to grit your teeth and cry into a pillow. Sometimes that's what it takes, and you, can, uh, you really can do some healing with some working out. Even some heavy working out. I think I owe that a little bit to my success is going ahead and going heavy and just going through the pain because I figure I'm going to hurt regardless if I go light or heavy. So I might as well go heavy. So that's my story and I'm sorry it was a long drawn out story but uh, some people want to know and some people might not know uh, everything so I, I kind of wanted to get stuff across to you. I do have problems from top to bottom inside and out but I'll be daggum if I'm going to let them completely stop me ever again. So anyway, guys, I appreciate you watching and uh, hearing my story. And I want you to push through your everyday life, whether it's in the gym or just everyday life struggles, and uh, continue to strive to do better. And uh, you can. If you put in enough, 
uh, work and effort. So anyway, guys, I appreciate you watching. Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the body beatdown. That's me, Michael, your hilled shoulder host. Ow, ah, no, I'm okay, maybe. Anyway, today is shoulder day, so be on the lookout for a shoulder video later. I'm gonna show a couple, uh, a new move, and maybe even go for a PR. Hence the reason this is up here. And uh, anyway, guys, get up, get out, get red, do a tune. We'll see you next time on the body beatdown. I don't know what else to say. See y'all later. Get up, get out, get around, and do it, do it!